just another update video uh, I I'll put out two videos but uh, this is my second yard uh, where there's finally picking up uh, so they get the same microclimate here that I do at home uh, but you can see the meadow here the dandelions are starting to pop out uh, the south facing hillsides are full of Jacob's Ladder uh, there's uh, what you might call it dandelion uh, Nangoon berries and wild strawberries and there's another pestamen so it's called Yukon beer tongue uh, there's a bit of rain forecasted this later this week so it should start blooming so this yard here uh, the nectar flow will probably start next week uh, I am leaving for three weeks uh, so what I'll do uh, to mitigate it uh, last week I shrunk these down to a single uh, there's brood issues in it. Uh, it is what it is. I have a feeling it's more related to the stressor of me adding too much space too early during my last business trip. Uh, I did uh, do a round of, of uh, Hive Alive one-to-one -one syrup. Uh, hopefully they took it. Hopefully it helps uh, clear their guts and get them out of that phase. Uh, plenty of pollen here, so lots of willows, lots of pretty much everything. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do on those two is I've got some honey supers because uh, I need to mitigate uh, swarming. So if they've recovered, uh, the queen's going to start laying. So I'm going to put two boxes, one in each, without an excluder. Uh, it won't maximize the honey, but it is what it is. Uh, and then... I guess this colony here uh, is my new nook and then I'm going to put it in this uh, hive IQ uh, colony so we'll go there. Okay so I'm using to do this last one so what I did is I just uh, I used this lid here it's not a license but it does fit decently and it's got a little cavity here for uh, a future pollen patty and uh, not for a while that's that won't be till the end of july but anyways i'll use that for now and then uh, i'd probably do the same here this is my oldest uh bee bee box paradise honey box uh, uh kit this one doesn't have a uh, uh, pollen patty enclosure but uh, i'll probably just reuse that also Okay, so this one looks a bit better, uh, bee-wise, so it's it's pretty much seam to seam. Uh, so what I'm going to do again is go in a few frames and check for uh, check for the, the brood condition. So like I said, these are new tools. I'm not using the same tool as uh, the other inspection I did. Uh, it's just to, I guess, be cleaner. So hopefully, uh, the other one wasn't too, too bad, but still not up to, too much is too much. There's no enough, a brood disease is a brood disease. So, uh, and then it looks like they're doing brood right to the edge, which is crazy. Uh, it does look better. Uh, so yeah, so same with the other colony, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, adding a clean honey super with clean wax will help them get out of this uh, condition. I'm just checking for eggs. There's tiny larvae. So there's a lot of brood down here. Uh, but I'm not sure what percentage of it is actually making it to, uh, to, to hatch. Let's do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's have a look. Pattern's a bit fuller than before. Uh, lots of brood. And there's eggs. I was a little bit worried we squished the queen in this one. Looks like this one is recovering, which is good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
that's why I don't like this frame. It's got a chewed out, uh, a perfect frame for queen cells. And they're loaded. Okay, here's a, a frame with pollen, some brood, some young brood. This one's still heavy too, so it's good. Okay. Brood looks better. No mushy brood. Looking for the queen. another cell so I'll just transfer this over there's a bit of yucky brood here so should I make a split with this yes or no uh, debatable okay so it's all infilled with eggs and brood there's the queen Good, so she didn't get transferred over, so she'll stay here with this colony. So she is laying a storm. Just hopefully they're able to do something with it. Okay, so let's, I gotta check for swarm cells, so. Got no choice but to go through all the frames. And again, she's infilled all the holes that got uh, aborted, so hopefully they do well so they're delayed by probably a good three weeks because of that uh, disease issue colony smells fine there's no funny smells usually I don't know you can tell by the smell sometimes it smells like dandelion actually so Patterns improving from last time, so this was even more spotty. Uh, brood is infilled, some eggs. Uh, hopefully, over time, they're able to cleanse themselves again. Uh, some, a few mushy cells. There are some young bees, so there are bees emerging. Uh, the key is how many versus. The ones that are getting aborted. Just gonna get rid of this wax. Get rid of this cell. Okay, let's 
Check one more frame. And I'm still debating, do I do a nook or not? Or just destroy those cells. Probably the easiest thing to do is just destroy it and go from there. Because there's no brood, uh, sorry, there's no drones. So I'm not sure how that, it's probably a week from hatching. There's some, some nice uh, pollen frames. So let's just destroy it. Okay. Let's do that. Clean these uh, races. Okay. Okay, so uh, you can probably see those cells. My phone off. I can't see. Okay, it's still on. So those two cells I need to destroy because uh, I just don't have time. So I'll uh, destroy them. Hopefully they don't rebuild them. Uh, but I've got uh, frame here I'm gonna put it on the cold side I'm gonna put that facing the outside wall to uh, reduce the odds of them uh, rebuilding that so let's move this over Like I said, where that uh, cavity is, I'll put it on the outside. So hopefully that should reduce their urge to uh, rebuild it. Because it's not in a, a prime queen rearing location. Okay, any super time. 